Hey, it's Metal Matthew coming at you with another video. Today we're going to do a super simple modification to the, my Hori stick. Uh, we're going to be changing out the buttons that originally came with it. And we're going to be putting in the new buttons I got. They came from FocusAttack.com. We can get all your parts for your sticks. That's not the only place you can get parts for your stick. That's just where I choose to get them from. All it really involves is a screwdriver and some parts. I mean, right now we're just changing out the buttons that I have over here. It's super simple. Just in case you didn't watch my last video where I changed out parts on the stick, this will be a reminder to anyone who's this is the first video you're watching. You're going to be voiding your warranty on this uh, this modification just like any other modification. So if you're worried about that, I would just stop now. I wouldn't c continue on. But if you uh, if you need to change out your button for whatever reason, they're broken, you know, like the color, whatever other the reason could be, this is a quick, easy tutorial on how to do so. Like I said, it's super simple. Okay, so here we are at the workstation. And like I said, uh, if you didn't watch my last video, you might be able to notice there's a sticker right here. Let me try and zoom in a little bit. Well, it's here, but normally it would it would have been here. But for most sticks that include, but not limited to, Quamba, the Hori, most of the, the sticks that you buy are going to have some type of tamper-resistant sticker on it. So if you, you move it or break it or whatever, you're going to void your warranty. So while this is more for the people who are just getting into stick modifications and stuff like that, so, I mean, if you're not comfortable with this, I mean, like I said, I would go ahead and stop. But this is a, just a super simple tutorial for someone who's just getting into it. One thing you'll see, it's, it's a super simple process. There's not much to it. All you really need to do is get to the underside of your buttons. Uh, there might be slightly different for whatever stick you have, but the most common... Ways to get inside will be, there will be six to eight screws on the bottom. You take that off, in this, like in this case. Or there will be six to eight screws on top. Either, either way, you're going to have to access the buttons to, to change them out because there's some wiring and stuff like that, which is super simple. There are some of them, such as the, the new Mad Cats TE stick. Uh, TE2 and there was a Mortal Kombat stick I think it was for MK9 that came out which actually had hinges and it made it super simple to to change out the parts and whatnot this however is not one of those sticks so what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove all all these seven screws and then we'll pick it up from there and we'll show you um, how super simple it is Okay, now that I have all, all of my screws loosened, I'm going to take this bottom cover off and put it to the side because we won't need that until the very end again. So here's the inside of your stick. Just like I said, just in case you didn't watch the last video, I changed out the parts on the stick itself, changed out the restrictor plate and the spring and the ball top, which are super simple in and of itself. But this is even easier. So you'll have you'll notice it, you have all of your eight action buttons plus your in this case it has your knife for your option button, but that's something that you you're, you don't use that often enough to to need to change it. You can um, the ones in the middle should all be thirty millimeter buttons, where the ones this one just like on the the Quamba. Uh, I've, the other ones that usually have buttons like this on the side, I think they're, I believe they're 24 millimeter. I've never changed it, but the process is still the same. So, some company, some manufacturers make it super simple that they have all but all the buttons have their own set of matching colors: orange, yellow, green, black, purple, gray, red, blue. And they all come back to this PCB back here. And like I said, some, some manufacturers make it super simple where it comes either to a terminal strip or a PCB itself. 
where where they terminate on the board them, themselves, it's clearly marked, you know, X or square or triangle or what have you, whatever platform you're playing on. This is kind of easy to read, but they have hot glue on it. So there's a couple ways to um, combat that. You know, either take off one button at a time. And the only button that usually ever is an issue are the ones that are closest to the stick. And looking at this, there's plenty of room. Uh, there's not much to it. And um, so all I'm going to do is take off the wires. You might need a pair of pliers for that or a screw, uh, flathead screwdriver depending on how, uh, how tight they are. And then all you have to do is squeeze. There's tabs on here. When I get uh, closer to that, I'll show you. So you can either take a picture of it, see what order the uh, the wires go in, take them one at a time, write down. I've I've before I've wrote down. You know, I'll write on the inside of the the box itself. You know, orange, yellow, green, bl uh, black. Just just uh, so it's easier. In the future, I don't need to do anything else. And then you replug your uh, your your buttons back in, and as long as they have a matching pair and you got metal on metal, you should have no problem. Now, if you're looking at these these buttons themselves, you might notice there's there there's six of them, and they're slightly different. Um, I did go with two manufacturers themselves. I have both the Soundwan uh, buttons, right? Pretty, pretty much a standard uh, in the FGC, right? And then I also have Sumitsu, right? They're both 30 millimeter buttons, slightly different in color. Um, but since the this is not easily changeable for the artwork, I uh, went with something slightly different. So I'm gonna go with kind of a Street Fighter S color combination for my buttons because like I said the artwork isn't easily changeable so I was going to change the buttons anyway so I figured I'd do something like that and this will also show you that while they have they still have two terminals they are the Sumitsu it's actually offset a little bit over here where your your sign ones are pretty much parallel to each other on the connection cables but other than that they should be uh, identical and how to connect them, disconnect them. I'm going to go ahead and show you the first one and then I'll go on from there. There's no, once you do one, they're all the same. Just remember what order you're doing it in and where they're at. So I'm probably going to do this button first, which X button on your PS3 or PS4 or whatever. These have quick connects on them, right, which makes them super simple to take off. So depending on how tight they are, like this one just came off, no problem. I pull it off, no problem. Some of them you might have to work a screwdriver in, but that's uh, that's pretty much you have that button disconnected. And the only other thing you have to worry about is there's a tab here, and then there's a tab here, right? Which so there's a tab here, and then there's a tab here. So simultaneously, I'm going to be pressing them in and then that should enable me to drop the button alright so the buttons out this is actually a, a curl button made by hurry right so I'm going to change that out and I'm going to be putting in okay what I'm noticing in this one compared to say the Kwambo while there are the tabs themselves hold it into place, there's a, like I said, in the Kwamba, there's actually designated slots for your buttons where they pretty much can only go in one way. But it looks like on this one, you can go ahead and from the top side, you can just slide them into place and you'll hear it snap. Hopefully my camera picks it up. Yeah, might have been hard to hear, but once that snapped and you see your the the tabs themselves spread out, you're good to go. Now the only thing else you have to do from here on out is 
go ahead and reconnect your cable and but that has a little channel in it and basically you want to put your the tab of the the buttons themselves in between there if you get it, and if you have metal to metal contact you should be good and yeah, it's a little fuzzy I'm sorry um, but you're just trying to get the maximum amount of uh, surface contact so go ahead go ahead and reinsert that onto the button themselves so now that they're connected they might actually snap into place a little bit so the only thing left to do is just to go ahead and finish out the rest of them like I said depending on your stick itself it might be slightly closer to it and you might have to adjust it maybe gently uh, manipulate your tabs themselves that way you can get around your, your joystick but uh, that's the only thing I'm going to do now is just change out the rest of them and pick back up when I got the sixth one in place. Okay, now that uh, I went ahead and changed out all the buttons, rewired them, you know, no problem. Like I said, the only thing you want to do is just make sure you have matching colors to, to buttons and make sure both tabs are um, pressed into place. Sometimes they go, you, you, more than likely you're going to hear one go in for, before the other one, but just go ahead and, and push the other one in, connect your wires, and that's pretty much the only thing left just to do is just to test it out. There are two different styles. There is the Samitsu on the bottom, and then there's the Sanwa on the top. Now the Samitsu do seem to be a tad bit stiffer, which actually might go with stick and the stiffness of it. But uh, like I said, the only thing left to do is just to test it out, see what it looks like. And I would actually suggest testing it with the, the back still off. That way, if you have a connection you need to redo, it's just less screw, screw work you have to change out. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Alright, so here we are back, as you can see, still with the back off. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and test, you know, sorry about the glare, I can't. It's sunny out. I can't really control it much. I'm, yeah, no matter what I do, it's going to be a, a good glare on it. But, you know, if you can look, if you can see, it's lighting up on the screen. Or, like I said, you know, we're moving. So, as you can see, this works, this works, this works. It actually makes it a lot easier with the back off. So, see, everything works just the way it's supposed to. And like I said, this was uh, another super simple uh, tutorial. The only thing left would be possibly to make these glow, um, put them in, um, get some LEDs in them. But that's uh, definitely a project for another day. That involve that's a little way more uh, advanced compared, especially compared to this. So like I said, this was a super simple change of parts, no problem. Easy, you know, very easy to do. Uh, it's a very basic thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Anything like comment subscribe all that stuff helps and hopefully I'll see you guys on at my next video. Thanks. Bye